Welcome to the second episode in this series on energy. I'm Mr. Salagaris. In this episode, we're going to discover that forms of energy can be organized into different categories. Let's start by thinking about different forms of energy we come across in our everyday lives. There's electrical, sound, heat, light, just to name a few. Energy serves many purposes in what we do each day. It would be difficult to imagine a world without it. There are two main categories in which energy can be organized. The first is kinetic and the second is potential. We're going to explore both of these in more detail in a later episode. But briefly, kinetic energy refers to forms of energy that are in motion, whereas potential energy are forms of energy which have it stored or ready for use. Forms of energy can't be classified as both kinetic or potential, only one, and the, one or the other, like apples and oranges. The forms of kinetic energy we'll focus on include light, heat, sound and electrical. You're probably wondering how these forms are in motion, right? Well, on a tiny scale, each of these have particles that are in motion, vibrate, orbit, orbit or move in waves or something else. Forms of potential or stored energy include gravitational, chemical, including biomass, elastic and nuclear. Each of these are examples of energy that is stored ready for use in work. So what have we learned so far? Energy comes in many forms which can be organized into two categories. Kinetic, the energy of motion or potential stored energy. Okay, so that's a wrap. Stay tuned for some more episodes coming up. Uh, next one we're gonna look at uh, kinetic energy in a bit more detail.